G'day guys, are you ready for another fun game that you can use at your next kids training session? Um, Alright, hopefully that's a yes from everyone, thank you, yes, 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 good, good, good. Uh, reminds me of Kramer, who's ready to have some fun. Alright, uh, so this one's called First to the Ball, and this is a... Um, a game that you can use for at your next training session when you're coaching kids aged three to ten. And uh, sorry, I'm going a bit backwards here. I know this is the Coaching Kids Soccer Podcast, but anyway, let's get into it. All right, so this one's called First to the Ball. So you set up a rectangle and two mini goals at either end. Split the players into in half and number them off. So you want to have one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. All right, and um, half of them are at one end. So you've got a one, two, three, four. If you've got four players at one end, and then you've got a one, two, three, four at the other. Okay, now the coach is on the outside with a whole lot of balls, and you simply call out a random number, and then those two players go in to compete for the ball. Whoever gets there first turns around and tries to score in the goal that they just came from, and the player that is second to the ball is tries to defend and stop them from scoring in the goal. All right, so you've got, if the coach calls out two, both number twos from either side race out, whoever, and the coach kicks a ball out as they say the number. Whoever gets to the ball first, turns around, tries to score into their goal, and they get a point if they do. And if the defender can stop them, kick the ball out, um, they've done their job. All right, and you want to stop it after 30 seconds. If it in, turns into a bit of a dead heat, just stop it after 30 seconds so that the um, game keeps flowing. First team to five points, five goals wins. All right, so pretty easy. Now, this brings in a bit of competitiveness. Competitiveness. All right, so I haven't um, had that in many of the other duels, but uh, you want to bring that in a little bit here. So it works on quick reactions works on dribbling, it works on attacking from one side, and it works on defense from the other. So this drill is really good, really versatile. And um, so, all right, so hopefully you've grasped that. So it's just a simple race out to the ball that the coach kicks out. Whoever gets there first turns around and tries to score at their end. Now, what you can do, so here are a couple of progressions. You can call out two numbers at once. So then um, two players go out and team up against the other two players and the first player to get the ball and they turn around, um, go back towards their goal. So it can turn into a bit of a team thing and you can call out every number if you want. All right, so have, have a bit of fun with it. So start off 1v1, then you can go 2v2s, then you can have 3v3s. Okay, so it's really versatile and once you get to 3v3, 4v4, players have to communicate and organise each other and things like that. So... Um, yeah, it's simple on the outside, but it's a very effective drill. Now, um, uh, what have I got here? Oh, yeah, if you don't have any goals, you can always just dribble it back between a pair of cones, or you can make it that the players have to dribble it back to the coach first. All right, and that's also a random one. Um, I keep this one in my back pocket, so you don't even have to set up a field. All you do, if the coach has got a ball... Number the kids off, one, one, two, two, three, three, so on. And then call the numbers, kick a ball out, and the players have to race out and the first player to bring it back to you. All right, so you don't even need goals. They get a point. If the other player loses, they have to do five toe taps or something like that. All right, so have a bit of fun with it, as I always say. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for listening. If you need any more information, always head over to Amazon, search Chris King Soccer. Um, or just Google Chris King Soccer Coach and all my books will turn up. I've got plenty of ebooks on coaching kids and coaching adult players available and I've also got a, a beginner's coaches course on udemy.com. Okay, for all you grassroots coaches out there. All right, hopefully you can implement that into your next training session and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.